My project is an interdisciplinary project involving both biology and chemistry. It involves a parasite called Entamoeba histolytica, which causes amoebiasis. The current treatment for amoebic dysentery is metronidazole, which is extremely toxic and causes cancer. So our goal is to make new compounds that can be used as pharmaceuticals in place of metronidazole. So we have four series of compounds synthesized so far, and we're pretty much playing around with the structure to see which compound inhibits best. I actually got started on this research project by chance when I met my lab partner in my anatomy and physiology class. We both showed up one day when we had received an email saying the class was canceled and neither of us had checked. He asked if I was interested in doing research in chemistry and I said, sure, I'd love to. So he said, okay, meet me in the lab at this day and this time and we'll get you in there and see what you're good at. So we started doing organic synthesis in chemistry and I just fell in love with it. And a year later I was signed on to the project officially and I've been working on it for two years since. So when I was a kid, and I went to CCD with my church, and every year we'd have to collect donations for a fund called Smile Train. They gave us a little box with a change hole in it, and on the side there was a picture of a child with a cleft palate and a cleft lip. And I asked my mom, what's wrong with him? He looked so sad. And she explained the whole thing to me, and I, I, I thought, wow. Some people aren't born able to survive. And she, I asked her if there was anything, any cure or any way to fix it. And she said, yeah, they can have surgery. So I said, oh, well, that's great. I want to do that. I want to help. But the only way I could help was to collect change. So I'm walking around with this little change container with this kid's face on it. And all I wanted to do was just get him money so I could help him. So I would collect the change every year. And as I got older, I started to look into becoming a doctor, and I went to El Salvador with the Roger Williams chapter of the Foundation for the International Medical Relief of Children, and we worked at a medical clinic in a small village called Las Delicias. When I got to go on this trip, I actually got to work with children, not necessarily who had cleft palates, but they were children who were in need, they were impoverished, they were starving and living in unsanitary conditions, but they were happy. And my research project helps people also who are in need in a way, in the same areas, because I'm helping people who have amoebiasis, but it's not as immediate of an effect as I want. I want to be a surgeon, I want to fix people, and I want to see an immediate result, and I want to help them and save lives. So I want to go to medical school so I can volunteer in places like El Salvador, like Mali, and third world countries who just don't have access to health care. And I want to fix those people who are in need.